Welcome, Lawn Care Nation. It's Julian from LawnCareBusinessSuccess.com and the Lawn Care Business Success Podcast. And I'm here again today with you to do an unboxing of the Ion Tough Sounds Hearing Protection Bluetooth Headphones. Uh, as uh, you may know, if you follow the uh, podcast or download the podcast, uh, these are my uh, favorite uh, Bluetooth uh, hearing protection headphones. Uh, I've been using a set uh, currently for about uh, two, two and a half years. Um, but uh, just over time or with abuse, um, they uh, stopped the Bluetooth function stopped working because of a nasty fall they took right on the uh, volume rocker, which also, uh, or sorry, volume uh, knob, which also uh, doubles as the on off switch uh, and uh, pretty much destroyed them uh, as far as the functionality of Bluetooth goes. The AM radio and FM radio is still working. Uh, but I strictly rely on the Bluetooth and it was, uh, you know, uh, intermittent. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. And if you rattled the headphones around, you could hear something was loose in there. So uh, completely my fault just from, uh, you know, multiple drops and stuff uh, that do happen uh, like with any sort of uh, headphones. I previously, before using these, went with the uh, Peltor uh, Tufts, or sorry, not Tufts sounds, the Peltor Work Tunes. Uh, and went through uh, at least two uh, sets of those as well, just from abuse of them eventually uh, failing and not working. So nothing out of the ordinary, uh, and that's why I decided to purchase another set of these because you know two and a half years of working using them every single day, uh, completely happy with them. Even though you know ultimately they did fail, uh, but it was strictly because of uh, abuse, not because of uh, the. Uh, quality or uh, craftsmanship of these. So I just want to show you guys an unboxing of the new uh, version here. So what I really like about these is that they have a built-in battery uh, with uh, you know a 20 plus hour uh, battery life they say. Um, I was getting uh, about three work days uh, uh, of use um, with the other set um, and previously I think the uh, battery life wasn't as uh, uh, as much on the older ones as uh, this one is. I seem to remember something around the 15 hour range, but I could be wrong. Um, they do have the built-in microphone, so you can uh, use them to answer your phone calls and talk while you're, uh, uh, you know, uh, working. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, there's not really a noise, uh, um, you know, canceling feature on them that I know of. Um, so you do need to turn the mowers off or at least walk away from, uh, you know, the really loud equipment. Uh, but, uh, you know, you'll hear the phone ringing uh, when you have them on your head and uh, you can press a button on the side and uh, answer the calls. They have uh, AM FM radio with uh, digital tuner and presets and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, it seems to work fine. I don't really use the radio uh, I've only used it uh, a couple times just really in testing over the past uh, couple years. I strictly rely on the Bluetooth functionality. The nice thing about these with the radio though is that even if you're using just the radio, um, this still connects to Bluetooth on your uh, phone. Uh, so you'll still hear notifications coming in. Um, so if you're getting a text message or the phone starts ringing, it'll interrupt the radio and uh, you'll hear that sort of stuff or with a notification you'll just hear your notification sound over top of the radio so that's very handy um, and uh, obviously they are uh, you know uh, hearing protection so they have a, a 25 decibel noise reduction rating uh, so as it says here listen to music and take calls while you work so the back of the package here uh, pretty straightforward there you go. So uh, it's one of these uh, completely sealed uh, blister packs. So we'll have to uh, use some scissors to uh, get into this guy here. So we've got some scissors here. All right, kind of destroyed the package there, but uh, a necessity with these uh, blister packs. Uh, so anyways, uh, first thing you see on top is obviously the uh, new Bluetooth headphones. So we'll uh, just put those aside for the moment and see what else we have in the packaging. So it looks like we've got some uh, instructions and some more documentation. 
and a, a short uh, USB uh, cable for charging. And just some more uh, documentation on uh, all the usual uh, stuff. So let's just set all that off to the side for now. And bring back the headphones. So we got the antenna on the top there. You can see, you just pull those down. They're just uh, compacted down for uh, uh, storage. Uh, but you see there's your uh, charge port on the one side. You have your on, off, and volume knob. On the other side here, you have your uh, uh, digital uh, display. You have an up and down for uh, selecting uh, preset stations and stuff. You have a play pause button. Uh, and a source uh, button as well. So you can change from AM, FM uh, to Bluetooth uh, and that sort of thing. It also has an auxiliary in jack at the bottom. So if you wanna listen to, uh, I guess, a MP3 player or something like that uh, with the cord, uh, or you don't wanna use Bluetooth and just wanna run a cord from your phone, as a headphone jack, uh, you can do that as well. Um, on the back side there. The inside, we got some nice, uh, soft, cushioned padding. Uh, my old pair over uh, after about two years or so um, showed no real wear. They weren't um, torn or anything. Uh, like I say, the only um, real issue with the uh, old pair, and there's sorry, just uh, just notice the uh, battery charge indicator. So when you plug it into charge, that lights up red. Um, but like I said, the only issue I had with the old pair, um, you know, they took repeated drops and uh, worked fine, but uh, it was uh, the last drop that really did them in and it was the Bluetooth that uh, uh, stopped working for me uh, and it was this volume on off switch. I guess what happened was uh, they fell on the ground and landed boom right on the volume knob which pushed it in and I actually took them apart to have a look inside and the little circuit board where the volume knob was was actually cracked in half and uh, uh, you know no longer uh, attached to the main uh, circuit board so it was intermittent it was turning on and stuff but the Bluetooth uh, would sometimes work but it constantly disconnect and stuff uh, where previously it was working uh, uh, flawlessly uh, on it uh, the ni other nice thing uh, that I like about these headphones is that they do show you, at least on the iPhone that I use, uh, they show you the volume, or sorry, the battery life uh, in the top right hand corner of your iPhone uh, for these when you have them plugged in. So that's uh, uh, always uh, nice and handy. Um, and uh, the uh, odd thing on the last ones that I'll be curious about these ones, the only real weird thing that I saw was, you can see the little battery life indicator on these ones and it's showing a full charge at the moment. On my last pair, uh, this never went down. Uh, I would, you know, it obviously looks like you can, or that it would show you uh, when you have like half life at least. It's got two little uh, spots there. Uh, but mine never went down. It uh, always said it had a full battery even when uh, they were dead. So uh, I'm not sure if that was just a defect on those ones. Um, so curious to see if these ones will uh, uh, actually show the battery life there. Uh, but like they say, for me, I was getting about three days of work. So I, I could use them. Uh, no problem for three days uh, of mowing um, all my lawns uh, each and every day. And then, uh, you know, at the end of the third day, uh, you know, I could push it to the fourth day, but then they would die halfway through. So uh, after three days, I would just uh, take them uh, in the house and uh, plug them in to charge them. So we can uh, see if we can turn on uh, anything in here, anything. So. So I don't know if you're hearing that, but it's getting a little bit of a thing. So if we switch the source button, so that uh, indicator there is showing uh, that it's in Bluetooth mode. It's looking for uh, Bluetooth. And then switch to AM, or sorry, FM. So you can see uh, the radio working there. You turn it off 
and the Bluetooth indicator turns off. You turn it on, even if it's on FM radio, you'll see the Bluetooth uh, little connection there showing up because like I said, it does connect uh, to Bluetooth to your phone, um, you know, even when uh, uh, you're using just the radio, which is super handy because then it shows you uh, your, uh, or it lets you hear your notifications, text messages and things coming in. So uh, what I really like about these versus you know, uh, regular headphones or whatever, obviously is that they're wireless. The Bluetooth is uh, what I rely on with, uh, you know, everything on, uh, I'm totally all in on the Bluetooth uh, and being able to hear your notifications and stuff while you're working. Um, you know, before using these types, when I was using um, uh, the work tunes and just listening, or sorry, uh, yeah, the uh, work tunes uh, type ones, the non-Bluetooth, uh, hearing protectors they're great you know I could listen to music and all that um, and I tried using you know the auxiliary in with my phone but I just hate having a cord you know whether it was tucked in my shirt or something it would always keep getting unplugged or getting in the way uh, while working so you know that was a, a non-starter for me so the Bluetooth uh, uh, was really attractive because with the work tunes just having the radio versions um, I constantly missed customer calls um, so every time a customer would call, um, you know, I would uh, always miss the calls because I just didn't hear it. So the Bluetooth uh, completely solved that for me. Uh, and, uh, you know, I no longer miss uh, customers uh, calling. So I think that uh, wraps up uh, the unboxing of the uh, Ion Audio um, Tough Sounds Bluetooth. Um, hit me up in the comment section uh, if you have any questions. All right.